This video will show you a .NET application that I built based on the web browser for IoT, Internet of Things, and using the remote desktop web client that Microsoft came out with recently. So here we have our virtual machine, which is emulating the, in our case, hopefully a Raspberry Pi. And what I'll do is go over to the little web portal here and start up the app. Now you can see here it's asking for a username, so I'm just going to log in. This is why you don't have a webcam on a stand-up desk. The camera keeps moving on you. So I'm gonna log in, does its processing. I'll give you guys the performance tab. And we can just log in here. We'll just log in, Word will open up. You can see the CPU spikes. And all right, there we go, Word's running. I've already done this recording a couple times. See, we have paint running also in the background. You can see here we've signed into Word. Um, I've recorded this thing quite a few times. <laughs> and we also have paint open and Excel. So if we go back to paint, it'll just switch. It's like that. Everything's done on the server. All the server's doing is sending back the page refresh or the screen refresh in this case because of Microsoft's uh, web client that they released for the remote desktop services. Our hope is that th we can use this on a Raspberry Pi and then increase the number of computers and we have a classroom or replace the computers in a lab that are just using general word processing. Uh, it also reduces the amount of power consumption with a Raspberry Pi it's a fairly simple app because it's based on Microsoft's IoT samples for C Sharp programming. Um, I just added them in to the one same app and then I hard coded the power config settings so that it would turn the monitor off after 60 minutes. The screensaver relies on any mouse movement. Keyboard doesn't seem to be working because it's inside of a web view in the app. But most of the time you're going to move your mouse within 15 minutes. Or if the screensaver kicks in, you know, just move the mouse away it goes. Um, it'll be trial and error. We'll see how it goes. But you can see the CPU hardly moves. There's no hardly any little, there's hardly any network traffic. Uh, in and out, yeah. Memory, we got two gigs in this virtual machine and it's only using... 800, 900 meg. So we could probably even get away with a gig of memory, but not gonna, probably not going to happen. So I'll have the link to the coding and any other updates. I'll put that in the description as well. So thanks for watching.